Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado D generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you need to find where the automatic transmission relay is located, which relay you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so for the automatic transmission which relay we need to check we will guys demonstrate on this generation Chevy Silverado here now guys you have many hidden fuse boxes all over the track that are quite well hidden and most people don't know about them we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on chevy silverado what you guys need to do open the hood and once you guys open the hood here on the driver's side you have a fuse box under that cover open it and you will find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 through 16 model and layout like that for 2017 through 19 model before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. Now guys, quick thing, if you need to buy fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time guys, we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out, that way you do not waste money and time. So now guys, what we will need to check specifically here, okay, it could be, uh, okay, some differences, make sure it's 10 till the end guys, uh, because uh, now guys, okay, we'll come to a fuse box for 2014 through 16 model. We want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us so please make sure you stand till the end. The relay that we need to check specifically guys, okay, uh, okay, could be uh, two different, okay, relays but now specifically guys, okay, we're going to talk about that now, okay, give me, uh, give me just a second, okay, we're going to come right here and the relay that we need to check here okay will be known as relay 71 okay for some models you may have a relay like this one right here or it could be more square relay but that's a relay that you will need to check relay 71 now if you have 2017 through 19 okay it will be known as relay 70 this one right here now if that doesn't fix the problem that's a powertrain transmission control module and engine computer relay you will need to check guys the transmission fuses you have many fuses and if you need help finding them we will have the video on our youtube channel if you need help finding the transmission fuses so but that's the relay that you will need to check now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that Chevy Silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.